Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So this is an update number two on the uh, the Epic Egress from uh, Benicia to uh, uh, Northern California. Um, <laughs> it's been a heck of a week. Uh, we completed phase one of the of the move, which is um, was my wife's studio, her art studio. So she got kind of a full art studio, which was roughly equivalent to a house a house worth of stuff, uh, you know, artist stuff. And she's been working like a mad dog, uh, boxing it all up and labeling it so that when we get it to the, uh, the new place, it can go in the right spot. Um, so that actually went pretty good. I rented a 26 foot uh, um, a box truck and we packed it to the gills. I got some excellent help from uh, some good friends, um, Uncle Chuck, and uh, 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 Robert and um, and Kent. So I'm not putting out their last names out there because uh, Chuck Marmorito everybody knows, but the other two guys are a little more private. Uh, but anyway, they uh, um, it was uh, uh, I'm just going to call it team geriatric, uh, including me, right? So, uh, um, but uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, when you got some guys that, that know how to work and uh, know how to pack a truck, I swear to God that we, we were fitting stuff into little slots and we got the, you know, it's almost neutron star density. So we did a pretty good job um, and uh, hauled it all up there. And, uh, and then Kent, who lives up in that area, he uh, dropped in for a few hours and gave me a hand unloading all that. So, needless to say, I need a nap at this point. I need my nappy. And uh, um, so that's the uh, kind of the update on the move. I don't have any video from that. It's, it's pretty hard to shoot video when you get uh, a couple of guys working uh, or helping, right? And, uh, and um, you know, you're schlepping stuff back and forth up and down a ramp into a, into a truck. So, uh, so anyway, that's that. Um, then uh, let's see what else. Oh, in the middle of all this, so so for those that didn't catch the first update, I'm moving my shop, and uh, they raised our rent. They won't give us a a lease. They will only give us month to month. So uh, we looked at some other options, and we bought a place that has a shop on it and a studio for my wife. And uh, so anyway, that's a short story. We're move we're moving out, <laughs> and uh, it's a pretty epic epic deal. So uh, there's some uh, uh, official supporter t-shirts available, so look down in the description of the video. There's some links to uh, Store Frontier uh, with a design that um, a friend of mine in Canada, Quinn Berry, did for me, uh, which is pretty cool. And I got some samples coming, I don't have them yet, but I'll show them once I get them so you guys can get a look at them in the flesh. And uh, if you feel like helping out and being an official supporter, buy a t-shirt or two, you know, uh, every little bit helps. So uh, um, anyway, that's cool. And then uh, after this, uh, I'm going to quit yapping here pretty quick, make this a short video. And I got some video of the inside of the new shop uh, that you guys will be interested in. So, uh, and some of the challenges in there, um, insulating and, um, you know, there's going to be some uh, electrical distribution and stuff like that that has to happen. So uh, anyway, so for folks that uh, already bought a shirt, thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's awesome. And um, uh, for those that haven't, uh, if you want to help out, that's a great way to do it. And I don't do the, uh, I don't do the handout thing where, uh, you know, the GoFundMe or whatever or uh, the Patreon or whatever. If you want to help, buy a t-shirt. And you get something back in return. You get a nice T-shirt, and uh, and I make a few bucks on the deal that uh, that helps fund uh, uh, upgrades in the move. So anything you want to do is much appreciated. So uh, anyway, let's go. Uh, let's pop over and let's take a look at the uh, the new shop space. Oh hey, I almost forgot. Hey Chuck, I found a uh, I found something that I think you dropped. It's a uh, it's about this big. It's all shriveled up. Kind of looks like a prune. Uh, and I think it might have come out of your pant leg when we were lifting that flat file. <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. <laughs> no, it's mostly uh, oaks, buckeyes, uh, cedars, some pines. They used to have some horsies up here. A little chicken coop. 
the house came with chickens and uh, but we didn't uh, <laughs> we didn't want to have any more pets got enough pets as it is so we did end up with a chicken coop though I don't quite know what I'm gonna put in there maybe that'll be the metrology room open-air metrology that's a little pump house and then uh, that pole over there, so the shop has its own electrical service. So it's got its own separate 200 amp single phase um, electrical service. Okay. And one man door and two roll up doors to the shop. Let's see, let me set this down. Let's uh, open her up, Let's see what's what. like that's the key what do you say turn some lights on let me set up and I'll uh, get this opened up all right so we'll do a little pan here a slow pan um, kind of standing near the man door uh, there's a one big roll-up door it's kind of pan around it's got a uh, it's got a bathroom with a shower and uh, then a little uh, storage room off to the left there. There's the water heater, power panel. That's the rear door, which is, I think, I think the doors are the same. Yeah, I think the doors are the same. And then the other wing, the low wing. I don't know what you call the style of barn. Now there's a workbench that they left. That'll come out. Uh, pegboard and all that stuff will come out. The first uh, kind of major hurdle here, I think, um, is just getting everything in here. And then um, um, I got to look at uh, doing some insulating here because uh, uh, this thing would be pretty miserable with the heat on it or the sun hitting it. And then uh, in the wintertime, I don't want to have a condensate problem. So that's kind of the first, one of the first things I'll probably be doing. So, and then of course, you know, power, da da da. Anyway, the list goes on. Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. I guess that's the new intro, right? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty happy. Pretty excited. It's, there's a lot of work to do, but uh, um, it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, this is the front of the shop. There's the, the little man door we came through. And then uh, some, of the, uh, some of the property. So this is the high bay section here. It's got a couple of these uh, uh, mercury vapor heaters, basically. Functionally, these are, you know, 400 watt heaters up there. So that's all going to get taken out and uh, we're going to put uh, uh, high bay uh, LED fixtures in there. So uh, uh, as you know, light is a big deal in a, in a shop like this and um, uh, I refuse to have fluorescence anymore. They're just a, a hassle with the ballast and disposal of the, of the bulbs and stuff. So real LEDs have come far enough now that uh, uh, it's really the, the right choice in this case. Now, let's see, there was some stuff they, had, they were supposed to clean out of here. Nope, they didn't do it all. All right, so there's a, the generator. That's important. This was supposed to go to this rack, but uh, I guess I'll just deal with that myself. So, you know what? I'm just going to leave that for now. But this room, it's insulated. It's kind of nice, actually. So, I haven't quite decided uh, what I'm going to use that for, or how I'm going to set that up. So, uh, it's a little small for metrology, um, although um, I think the temperature would be mod moderated in there pretty nicely. So. Getting that big granite plate through here might be kind of interesting. I got to think about that. And see what we're going to do there. So anyway, things to think about. Exciting. Okay, so that's a quick tour of the new space. Uh, I got lots of work to do. Um, I just want to throw a shout out to the folks that uh, that already bought T-shirts. Um, we're having a T-shirt, uh, you know, kind of uh, event specific for the move. So look in the description of the video, there's links to uh, some um, um, 
official supporter uh, t-shirts. So anyway, thanks to those folks that, that uh, bought t-shirts. And then um, I got some surprises through, uh, through PayPal. Some folks uh, uh, sent me a couple of bucks uh, to, to, to help for the move. And um, it's very much appreciated and um, honestly quite humbling. So uh, um, thank you very much for those folks that did that. So uh, anyway, come with me. To, uh, uh, in building up this uh, this new shop adventure, so uh, it's going to be cool. Talk to you later.